Yeah. Turn Nation. It's 9.25 p.m. I just got done seeing Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. First things first, you write the title. Yes, the movie is perfect. Bro, let me show y'all what I got, bro. Let me show y'all what I got, bro. And then I get a shirt on June 5th. It's June 1st right now. Look at the poster. Look at look at this. When I tell you this movie is perfect, it's actually perfect. Because here was my contender for my favorite Spider-Man movies of all time, right? I love all of them. But like Spider-Verse, No Way Home, Dark... Top, the, the third one could be interchangeable. I could love Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 1. I could love The Amazing Spider-Man 2. I could love Spider-Man Homecoming. It was interchangeable, right? But Across the Spider-Verse sweeps. I think it's Across the Spider-Verse, Spider-Verse, and then the third could be whatever movie I wanted to be. It might be No Way Home. It might be Homecoming. It might be, it might, it could be anything, but when I tell you in the movie theater with me and my friends, I was like, here's my reaction. For, here's some of my reaction. I was like this. I was like, this, oh, bro, it's, this is spoilers, by the way, the spoilers, it's, it's in the title. When I saw, when I heard Josh Keaton's Spectacular Spider-Man and went, oh my gosh, when I, oh, there's so much to talk about, there's so much to talk about. We're just gonna talk about the end. Miles as the Prowler is one of the craziest things I've never thought I'd seen. And this movie's writing is so good. It's so good. It's never like they just pulled it out of nowhere. It's not like, oh, Miles got sent to like, oh, they hit the wrong dimension. They literally, t they foreshadowed it. Miguel foreshadowed it. Because Miles wasn't supposed to be Spider-Man. The spider that bit him was not supposed, that, that spider is not from his dimension. That spider is not from his dimension. Miles was never supposed to be Spider-Man. And it just plays into this whole random fact that anyone could wear the mask. And it's like, oh my fucking gosh. When they sent, went bro. When my when Miles told his mom he's Spider Man, I was like, and his mom was like, Spider who? I'm like, wait, he got sent to the wrong dimension. There was like a couple things I gave it away, right? Like the color, like in the background, was like green, like a dark greenish tint. You know what I'm saying? And they didn't know who Spider Man was first off, and it was like, um, what? And then the the subtle hint was, what happened to your hair? So I'm like, in my head, I'm thinking, oh, like maybe it's like a time skip. You know what I'm saying? But no. M Miguel foreshadowed it. He was like, because the, okay, so obviously, you know, your DNA changes when you get bit by a spider, right? Since that spider's DNA is from Earth 42, right? That's where the spider came from, right? And that's why the number on, like, the spider was 42 in the first movie. Since the spider's DNA is from that dimension, when Miles got done cooking Miguel, and I mean cooking the fuck out of this fucking loser. I love Miguel. In this movie, he's a fucking menace. But I think, I think I'm seeing that amazing speech. Everyone is telling me how my how my story is supposed to go. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. I gotta get that printed somewhere in my room, bro. Like in my future house. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a wrap. Whatever they got done doing that, right? He started doing, they, they have like this weird little spider robot thing. It looks, it looks weird, but it sends you back to like, oh, there's so many cameos, bro. There's Childish Gambino, was actually the prowler that's a oh my gosh that cameo was insane oh my gosh there was some we saw andrew we saw toby like actually like you know as like cameos and when like you know their respective people died like when stacy died and then when uncle ben died it was like you know scenes from the movie right and uh, but let, let's say back let's get back on top of with like with the 42 spider right oh my gosh when he do it it just played so well it was like actually perfect like, I, I have a headache trying to process all this it's peak cinema miles i oh bro I, peter parker will forever have a special place in my heart that is my nigga we're linked like this and me and miles are also linked. like like my i've never related to a character as much as my peter yeah he's cool as fuck i love peter but miles just own oh, the relationship with his parents and everything i'm like holy shit it's, it's like they made this movie for me specifically bro and the ending there were no post credit scenes, none. I was surprised. I was sitting, me and my friends sitting in that theater like, so post credit scene after that spectacular movie, no post credit scene, but they they, they were like, okay, y'all don't get a post credit scene, but here's what you do get. We get the return of Penny Parker, Spider-Man Noir, Spider-Man India. I don't know how to pronounce his name right. It's making me mad because he was one of my favorite Spider-Mans. I love that man, bro. I loved him so much. And we get Peter B. Parker with his with his baby Mayday. And then we get Gwen as like a team. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Spider-Ham wasn't in there, sadly. He came back as like a was like an East like well, like a flashback when Miles gets back to like the wrong dimension, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, oh my goodness gracious. I
Oh my god, this movie was... I'm, I'm in love. I'm, I'm, I'm in love. Everyone who worked on this movie... I gotta get rid of. Also, there was a Venom cameo in there. He wasn't actually in there. They just went to the Venom to the Venom verse and they talked to like the cashier, Mrs. Shane. They talked to Mrs. Shane. The spot, <gasps> the spot was amazing. He was goofy in the first like part, but then in the second, oh my! He kept up in the ante constantly. That man said, "I'm a villain of the week." All right, bet. What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm gonna show you something. Yes, my costume isn't zipped. All right, I went to the movie theaters dressed up as this, like literally. You know what I'm saying? I took a couple pictures saying that, you know what I'm saying? I was a celebrity, you know, you know. But, like, bro, this, oh my gosh, this, they made him terrifying too, because he's mentally unstable. He comes up as like this goofy type of guy, and he's talking to Miles. He's relaying his origin to Miles, and Miles doesn't take him seriously, and that's what pisses him off so much to the point where it's like, all right, Spider Man, we're gonna, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna reach our maximum potential. And, Something in Beyond the Spider-Verse which comes out March 29th, by the way, because I searched it up because I need this movie ASAP. March 29th of next year, right? 2024. Oh my gosh, bro. If Jeff dies, because that's what they're alluding to, if he dies, I'm, I will shed tears. I don't want anyone to die. I just... Miles suffered enough, bro. He, he suffered enough. His... Gwen... I love this. I need... You know what I said in the movie? I actually told this to my friends, bro. I said, I need a snow bunny. If any, if there are any snow bunnies, hit me up. Instagram link in the description. Hit me up, bro. I, I need me a Gwen Stacy ASAP. I, I literally, I need, I need me a Gwen Stacy ASAP, bro. Gwen lied to him, but it was for his own good. Peter B. Parker, he was like, bro, listen, I ain't wanna. I, man, I love, I love the way they did Peter B. Parker and Gwen, bro. Miguel was amazing. Hobie Brown, I, bro. Y'all go on my reaction, bro. It's like, yo, Hobie, Hobie, Hobie. They did Hobie fucking right. It's gotten to the point where Insomniac, I know y'all are working hard on Marvel Spider-Man 2, but hey, I know y'all I know y'all also working on Wolverine. Y'all got y'all got your hands to it, I know. Can we get a can we get a spider punk game or like a Gwen Stacy game? Cause the fucking movie opens up with Gwen Stacy and just swinging around and I'm thinking, damn, imagine a a Gwen Stacy game. A Spider Gwen game, oh my fucking god, bro! But Hobie came in. I need Hobie better come back and beyond the Spider Verse, bro. Hobie was, um, he was fucking amazing. And like every time Gwen would mention him, I'm like, oh, Miles, bro, I've been there before, bro. It's not, it ain't fair, bro. It ain't fair, cause it, I'm like, bro, Miles and Gwen, they're like, I just, I, I shipped them, okay? I shipped them. I, I shipped them. Leave me alone, all right? I shipped them. They, I, I need, I need something, all right? Cause. No way they oh my gosh the fight scenes in the movie too s fucking here they were actually like fighting fighting bro like my the spots oh my gosh the vulture was actually insane like the vulture was actually giving them a hard time and i'm like the, the vulture was oh my gosh she was like from like the renaissance age or whatever and like he was like breathing fire and shit it was only he had like these bombs too Miguel was getting cooked and Jessica Jessica Drew came in and Gwen did like her whole thing, captured a helicopter. It was it was fucking sick, dude. But like the fight scenes were cool. When um they go to Spider-Man India's um Mubatan Mayhem. Mubatan how how Mubat, how the fuck do you say it? Manhattan. Mubatan Hatton? How, how do you, I, I'm i I'm fucking stupid. I'm sorry, I have a headache, alright? But like yo, when they go to his um Spider-Man India, I'm gonna just say Spider-Man India's um dimension, right? They like, oh, um, when they fight the spot, the spot, oh my, it's so fucking cool. Oh, I'm in love. I could just go on and on and on and on about this movie. I really could. And I, I might, it's, it's nine minutes. It's been, holy shit. It doesn't, holy fuck. I'm just spazzing right now. This, I can't wait for Beyond the Spider-Verse because they, bro, they've never missed. Like, actually, Spider-Verse, 10 out of 10. Across the Spider-Verse, 10 out of 10. The moment, and I mean the moment, I see beyond the Spider Verse trailer. My mic is falling. My mic is falling. Mike, please. I, I didn't mean to bang on it that hard, bro. No, fuck it. The moment I see beyond the Spider Verse teaser trailer, it's it's a done. It's a done deal. It's a done deal. It's a done deal. It's it's over. It's over. It's over. I am going to scream. You don't understand how excited I am for this movie. And I know the light is bad. My phone is, was like at 9% and I did not want it to die on me. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to just record my light on. I am... 
ecstatic. This movie was perfect in every this this movie made me love the characters. I'm I'm a fanboy now. I've always been a fanboy with it, but now I'm a fan I'm a fanboy times ten. It, it's it's over. It is it's actually it's, it's a done deal. It's oh my bro, we actually saw Insomniac Spider Man like high quality and shit. Like he was it was like an actual cameo, and I'm like, ah. Uh. I, I, I love this movie. This is this is my favorite Spider-Man movie of all time. It, it, it does. It, this and Spider-Verse are perfect. Fucking perfect. I'm like, bro, in the theater, I'm pointing to like all the references and shit. Like when Genki with like with that scene with Genki, right? Where um Miles comes back from like cooking the spot, you know what I'm saying? Well on the mouth and shit. He comes back to Genki, Genki's playing Spider-Man PS4, and I'm like Oh my fucking guys, I love, I love my wife. I left out of that movie theater with like, just like, I, I left as like a better person, you know what I'm saying? I left with a better understanding of my life, essentially. And it's like, if a movie does that to you, that's how you gotta clap it up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, as like, to like the role models that I have in my life, you know, specifically, Spider-Man has always been like the, like one of the biggest ones, you know what I'm saying? It's like, just, oh my God. That man as like a character, as like a role model is amazing. And then I have Miles who I relate to so much. It's it's over. It's literally it's it's like that character was like made with me in mind or like something could it just by I don't know, bro. I, I, I actually don't know because it's it's crazy. When his dad is doing things, I'm like, damn, my dad would actually do that too. And it's it's fucking this movie's perfect, perfect, perfect. Ten out of ten. Beyond the spider verse. It's got to be a 10 out of 10 too. I'm going to end the video because I have a headache. I need to get undressed because I've been wearing this since 4 o'clock. Since like 4.50 or something like that. Oh shit. If anyone has any doubts about this movie, stop it. If you're calling this movie bad, stop it. This movie is objectively a 10 out of 10. Perfect in every single way. And you best believe. When Beyond a Spider-Verse gets revealed, when we see a trailer for that, it's over. It's all good. We are before I before I even end the bill. Can we just acknowledge Spider-Man fans always eat? Like literally, Marvel Spider-Man Two comes out and literally like what? I have a I don't know why I have this feeling. It's coming out in August, but August does August still kind of summer? I want to say maybe September. You know what I'm saying? So what? Like what? July? Like fucking three months from now, right? If they drop that shit in, in September, don't drop it in November. Don't be that guy. November is like what? Like a time? Like, oh, the holiday month technically so literally don't drop it in october either i need it as soon as possible drop it in fucking september if you really want to do it drop it in august wink wink not, not just something like uh -huh, you know what i'm saying then we got across the spider verse coming out in a, a couple months later not across the spider verse beyond the spider verse i pray they keep making movies with like miles and stuff and they just announced a live action miles morales too i, I sadly I, i'm not starred they didn't they didn't cast me i you know, maybe not. You know, maybe in a different dimension. Maybe in an alternate universe. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> American only dream. American only dream. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm gonna say this one last time. Across the Spider Verse is a 10 out of 10 masterpiece. It excels at everything that it does. Perfect movie. Perfect characters. Miles, my favorite Spider-Man. I love that nigga, bro. And, and Peter. It's like so I, 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 I have to put Miles just above Peter a tad bit. I, I, I have to. That's my nigga Miles, bro. We, we link like this, bro. So I love that nigga, bro. I'll see you in the next video. Peace, take care. Also, remember always be yourself, love yourself, and cherish yourself. I'll see you in the next video. Peace, take care. I'm fucking tired, bro. And I can't even move my mouse with the gloves.